As promised, this time we're having a look at the racing games of Crash Bandicoot. A quick break for an ad. Enjoy a 30-day free trial of Amazon Prime. Instantly watch thousands of movies and TV episodes, which can be watched on your gaming console, borrow Kindle books, and get unlimited free two-day shipping, no minimum order size. Use the link in the description to sign up today. The fourth installment in the Crash Bandicoot series. Crash Team Racing focuses on the efforts of Crash Bandicoot, Dr. Neo Cortex, and other ragtag team of characters in the series Jumping who must race against Nitro's Arcside to save the Earth from destruction. During the races, offensive and speed-boosting power-ups can be used to gain an advantage. It was incredibly fun. Much like the previous racing game, Crash Nitro Kart, in 2003 featured characters from the series that were playable on this competitive game. Although not as popular as the first game, it presented nice changes such as new power-ups and different carts, opposing to the first entry, that apart from Nitro's Oxide, the only difference was the cart's colors. Crash Tag Team Racing is the third racing game in the Crash Bandicoot video game series, published in 2005 following Crash Nitro Kart. The game's story centers on the exploits of the protagonist, Crash Bandicoot, who must win the ownership of a dilapidated theme park by finding its missing power gems before his nemesis, Dr. Neo Cortex. Crash Tag Team Racing received generally mixed reviews. While its visual style, humor and supplementary content were generally praised, the racing mechanics and track designs were criticized. If you were playing with a friend, you could morph into a double cart, where one player would keep racing, and the other had an arsenal, to shake your enemies off track. Nitro Fueled is a remaster released in 2019, includes all of the content from Crash Team Racing, along with several new features not present in the original game, including online multiplayer and the ability to choose different carts, which can be customized by the player. The adventure mode has also been tweaked. In addition to new cinematic cutscenes being added, players can choose between classic and nitro-fueled adventure modes, the latter of which allows players to change their character and cart between races, as well as choose between three difficulty levels. What I really liked about this game is that I could finally choose his character Nitro's Oxide and his hovercraft, which was only playable on the original if you had a game shark. That's all for today's video. Which games would you like to see here on the evolution of games? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.